Hello! It is, what is it? It's Wednesday, July 1st, 2015. Happy July! Yay! So I didn't get to update you guys on my second show this season, which was this last past Saturday. Um, and it was great, you guys. It was great. I had so much fun. It was, um... Well, let me uh, say, let's say, it was uh, the NPC Team Grow Gladiator Classic in Linwood, Washington, and um, I had done the show the week before, the Tandy Johnson Classic, and it was my first time ever doing two shows right in a row, and I had always been really nervous about that because prep preparation, which we call contest prep, uh, before right before shows is can be a really difficult time you know you're burnout, out you're tired you're stressed your fat is low your food is low your uh, it can be so difficult and so I figured oh my god how can you like do another thing like that one week later when you just can't even get yourself to hardly go to the gym you just want to scream and cry and drop out of the whole thing so I have never done that but I, it was the first time I did something like that and it was really great it was so much fun I had gotten my nails done which now I had them removed um, for the first show so I just left them on so that's less of an expense and I left my toenail polish on so I didn't have to get that done everything was ready you know all my I had everything figured out about what I need for a show because I just did the last show and my body was ready you know I had already prepped before so now I just roll into the next peak week and um, my body responded really positively the first show uh, it did not go so well for me physique wise I, I was so excited and stressed about it that I stressed my system out and my body bloated <laughs> which was really a bummer and um, so what I did the next week for the this last show was I just relaxed I had to relax I had to rest and relax I got a massage I took naps I would fall asleep on the couch and just take well I need the rest and I take a nap I mean I did my training I did my workouts but I allow myself to relax I tried to get more sleep I didn't do as much and um, what happened was let's see push this back a little what happened was uh, my body responded really well and it finally came in for the show it leaned out I had um, muscle definition and I think right after my last appearance on stage I think or something like that or just before my last appearance on stage for the evening show I got even more defined my legs started coming into getting more defined and it was so exciting because I thought that would never happen again I I had had that before in previous competition preparations many many years ago but um, I haven't been able to achieve a a good leg shreddedness look yet and um, it was starting starting to appear and I was so excited I was just ah, screaming backstage and having people look and taking pictures and it was really excited so uh, finally my body came in and I was so thrilled so this time I felt confident for a change because my body was firmer and leaner and tighter and I could actually see some some definition so I was really excited so I was more confident it was a little tiny show because there were like five shows going on that same weekend locally so this so everybody was competing all over the place so it wasn't a concentration of people so it was smaller um, show but that made it so much fun and so much less stressful and quicker you go on you go off you go on your next group goes on off and it bam 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 it was so quick it was so relaxing that way it's not all that wait 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 stress wait 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 stress so um, and and then when I registered well, check-in Friday night check-in I thought well if this is a small show maybe I should do something I've never done before too which is sign up for two categories 
instead of just one. So I, I compete at my master's figure, whatever category is my age group, which is 51 is how old I am. So, And I could also compete in a regular open, they call it open figure by height class with any age. And I've never done both before because the younger women have um, uh, a little more benefit in their physique. Uh, us older women have great physiques, but we have a little differences, um, body, little body fat differences and stuff like that. So um, the younger women have more body fat, I think. Maybe not. I don't know, but it it comes off differently at different ages. Let me say that. So I went ahead and registered for two since it was a small show. I figured, why not? And um, I asked people, and they said, yeah, do it, do it, do it. So I did, and that was really great. That was really fun. It was a great experience. It gave me twice the time to go up on stage and do my thing and practice, you know, and compete twice. And since it was a quick show, it wasn't painful. It was just like on, off, wait, wait, on, off. Not, not, wait, 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 you know. It was good. And then I wore my, um, my heels, five-inch heels that we wear, but I didn't bring my ankle strap ones. I just brought my where you put your foot in instead, pump or whatever it's called, um, so I could not, so I could change, get it out of my shoes in between and get more comfortable and then get back in real easy, and that worked really well. And then, since it was a small show, um, well, the promoters had uh, swords for the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth place winners all get swords. And um, since it was a small show, so there were only two people in my master's class and two people in my height class. So it was just the two of us. So we got first and second. And so I won, too. You know, I got second place in both, which is fine. It's great. My competition was fierce. For a small show, people looked amazing. The competitors looked great. My comp com competition looked amazing. So, oh, uh, well can't beat that but it made it fun to have competition for them if I mean if I hadn't shown up they wouldn't have had any competition that's kind of not fun so um, I did get second but I won a tiara and a sword I got tiaras and swords oh here's one of them and you open it up and it is a sword this one I can't open right now but um, and since I entered two classes, I got two tiaras and two swords. So that was amazing because I've always wanted a tiara and I've always wanted a sword and I got two. So it was so great in, in every way. My, I felt so great about my physique. I, you know, I still have a ways to go, a ways to go with my physique. But it's, it was a good place for at this point. I mean, I have a lot to take off of my butt still and my thighs. That's the last place to go. So my plan is to keep competing this year. I signed up for a competition in August and October. And as I go, my physique should, you know, lean out more and get even more. The skin should tighten up. So I my um, showings should be better and better. So I'm really looking forward to that. By October, I want to have tight, firm skin and uh, a lean, cut body. and uh, So I'm really excited about that. So it was a great show. I had so much fun. It was relaxing. It was fun. We were all winners. Um, of course, everybody is so nice backstage. All the other women were so much fun. And... Uh, I stayed in a hotel and it had air conditioning and it's really hot so that was awesome so it was great so I just want to let you know yay it was a great one and um, I was really pleased I'm so glad I did it my running coach has a little story about races and showing up to races and stuff like that she, and the, the end of the story is um, sometimes you just got to show up and I keep that in mind a lot. You know, sometimes you just show up even if you have doubts and don't know what's going to happen and don't feel like it's going to be successful. Just show up. you got to show up to win. And I did. 
So it was really fun. It was a fun show, and the uh, promoters had some fun things in it, like pose downs, and they made it really fun for the competitors and the audience. So it was great. So I'm so glad. So my journey back to the stage is successful. Yay! How do you like that? That's awesome. So I'm going to keep competing this year. And um, I'm really tired now. I I don't know. I haven't run a marathon yet. But <laughs> it kind of feels like I've run a marathon. Like I'm, my body is tired and not very strong. And I go, I'm go. i going to the gym. I got back on my diet. I just had a few things off my diet. But then I got right back on because I want to keep competing this year. And that's been my hard part is getting back on the diet. So I got back on the diet. I'm learning from experience, and that's good. And I got right back to the gym, and even though I'm tired and my body is really tired and kind of wants a rest. What I'm doing is um, I'm going, and I'm just uh, I'm not pushing the cardio to the nth degree because I, I don't have it in me right now. And I know my energy will and my body will get back up to speed. I just need to give it a little rest. I could take a couple days off. That would help probably, but um, I don't really want to yet, so I'd rather just um, keep things at a, a more minimum speed until my energy and body get back up to strength and stuff. So uh, exciting things in store, exciting races running in store coming up, and um, just more fitness adventures and challenges, and that's really all I could ask for, you know, everything I could ask for. So just wanted to share that and uh, feel free to comment and ask questions and I'd be happy to do any further videos on any of these issues and uh, any questions you have. But yay team! All right, thanks for all your support too. Bye!